What is academic integrity? Well, it's really about honesty and responsibility in scholarship. I think everyone, both academics and students, should really be aware that any, any of their work should result from an individual's own work, should be their own work, should really be representative of them and what they've produced and they've delivered and be put together by that person. It's very important as an institute and a community um, in the college that society in general can have trust in our graduates and the standard of work that we deliver. Both in, in, in every discipline, we have to make sure that what we, our outputs and what we produce is of the utmost highest quality and that we can back that up and, and produce the relevant sources behind that. There are certain elements that are very important in academic integrity, such as plagiarism, uh, fabrication of data, uh, cheating, and even on ethical research. Any research in any institution has to be formed in an ethical background. We have to have ethical approval for that research if it's going to be in any way published or if there's any output driven from that. Also, any data that's recorded in any experiment, be it a social experiment or a scientific experiment, can't be fabricated in, in any way. I think anyone would be aware that you, you would be very frowned upon, very much frowned upon if your data was fabricated or falsified in order for you to just get results. Likewise with cheating, uh, cheating doesn't represent your efforts and your best work. But one of the main focuses in academic integrity in the last while has been plagiarism. Uh, it's getting a lot of attention. And plagiarism is really where you pass off someone else's work as your own. And I think a great example might be that you could read an article uh, in the last minute or before you submit and you, you use some text without saying where it came from or justifying the, the original provider of that data. And taking someone's information without giving them the credit is, is really frowned upon and uh, plagiarism has become a real almost buzzword. And it's not really there to, to terrify a student or an academic. It's really there just to make sure people follow the right guidelines. And those guidelines can actually be followed by, play, by uh, referencing. So for example, um, I think the phrase credit where credit is due, when used by the DKAT library regularly, is, is a really good phrase to remember. I think if any of you did some research or did an experiment or published a paper and you really had made a breakthrough, I think if you fast forward 10 years, you would like students in 10 years time to actually give you credit for what you delivered, what you produced. So with your own work, I'd ask you to consider your sightings and your referencings, uh, references and your referencing systems that you use. You should have a high number of references. Um, it's important, it shows that you have extensively researched your topic. It shows that you are making sure you've given credit to those sources. And all of those references should really be of a high quality. And I think that's absolutely critical to take on board. I think on the, in on the internet you can find anything you want it to sell you. So it's so important that you use peer-reviewed sources and sources of very reputable uh, origins. So you've got to make sure those sources are high quality. And I think that's where Wikipedia often falls into people's um, uh, you know, it gets people into a bit of problems, into problems because they use data that isn't peer reviewed. And I, I really think we need to look at that as aspect when you think of the referencing type that you want to use. So the quality of your sources is very important. In essence, three tips. My three tips for students are please write in your own words. I think if you can write in your own words, that's really, really important for you to take on board. And the key thing to do with this or to, to look up and research a bit more is paraphrasing. It can be too easy if you've left a, a submission until the very last minute and you have something in front of you. It's very easy to end up plagiarizing it. So you've got to learn how to read the source, close the source, write in your own words and cite and reference it, and then open the original source and make sure you've captured the key points. But paraphrasing is, is critical for your success. My second tip, please reference extensively with high quality uh, sources, as I've mentioned previously. With regards to your research, my third tip, be honest and be ethical uh, minded at all times. But overall, I'd ask every student and every academic, anyone that produces anything, to be proud of what they've done. You're going to submit something for review, for correction, that you worked on for numerous days, numerous nights perhaps. You've really put a lot of effort into this and you've referenced it accordingly, you've written in your own words, you've been honest and ethical in your work. And when you submit this, you should be proud of what you submit. And that way, when all your work is, comes from you, we started this conversation saying that academic integrity was of honesty and responsibility in scholarship. And I hope this video has given you some ideas as to how you can maintain that uh, throughout your studies, but also be proud of what you submit and go on to achieve great things. Thank you.